Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now that we have most of our memories back, actually, I think, um, I think I might have enough stuff to actually get the ancient gear at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab, so let me see if I can do that, and then do a few other things as well. Because I've also got, uh, like, 29 Korok Seeds on me, or 26, I can't remember. So I should probably use those if I can. I know it gets more expensive as it goes along, but I still have them, so. Although I might not be alright for space at the moment. We'll see. Okay, let's see. Can I afford... Alright, oh, it needs rupees as well. Um, I do have enough ancient cores, though. So if I can... Can I sell you stuff? Uh, no, I can't sell you stuff. I don't think I can even sell cherry anything. Yeah, I have to actually go find rupees somewhere else. Oh, no. Okay. Beetle? I have many things good for you. Oh, I, I knew I'd see you again. I think that te technically makes you my stalker. Ha 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 But seriously, I'm going to have to ask you to stop following me around. Who am I kidding? I love the attention. Okay. Uh, look what I've got. Okay. Now that I'm your stalker, apparently. Okay, let's get rid of some of these, I guess. Oh, I might need to... Oh, I might need to sell more than just some. I need a lot of rupees. A lot. I might not even have enough from all of this, which is concerning. I might need to fight some taluses. Goodbye, all of my precious gems. Ah, it won't be too bad getting more. Especially with Abosa's Fury. I'm gonna keep my flint though. I'm probably also going to sell my luminous stone. I think there's a... I think... Uh, Choo Choo Jelly has a good way to sell that as well. I just don't know... Where exactly that would be. Yeah, that's... Pretty good numbers, but also... Probably not good enough numbers. Anyway. I hope this is enough. Okay, here we go. The moment of truth. Do I have enough rupees? Let's see. It's 2000, 2000, 2000. No, I don't have enough. Okay, then. I can buy two, though. Let's uh, make exchange for the ancient chorus. Exchanging beep beep. Result, uh, results available beep. Okay, I've got that. Oh, I don't have enough ancient gears. This has just been upsetting. <laughs> it's just upsetting. I need more ancient parts. I need more money. I just need... I need more. It's not going to be easy to get more. Not exceptionally, at least. Anyway, I think... Then I'm just going to go elsewhere, then. There's so many things I need to do. Just in the middle of nowhere. There's a lot of swords on my map. Marking shrines, but let's go to this stable over here. There isn't. Oh, there is actually one thing at this stable that I can do. So let's switch to the Master Sword. Let's go down to that tree over there. I still feel like there should be a cork back here somewhere, but I don't know where exactly, so I don't know. That's okay. So did you meet the hero of Hyrule? Bye. I am he. What? So, it was you. 
That sword is proof enough. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> this is a little something I've been saving for you. Please take it. And we get a star fragment just for existing, basically. Oh man, it feels so good to check that off my bucket list. But now that I've met you, some of the excitement's gone. I mean, you're not even my type. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Well, toodaloo. My hero. Complete. I'm glad that's over. Anyway, let's... Is that a, just a duck. Okay, there's just a duck down there. Let's get a horse and travel up the road a bit. And I don't... Oh, hello. You're also here. Hmm, this stable is surrounded by cliffs, so it lacks striking scenery. Hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? I've traveled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. If you have a picture to show me, let's see it already. Check out my album. Oh, that horse statue. This is at the... Sanadin Park Ruins. Yes, there are some park ruins on Safula, Saf, Safula Hill to the northwest of here. You'll find this horse statue there. Painting is my passion, but even I can tell that statue is a true masterpiece. It's worth seeing at least once. Okay then. Well, let's get out a horse then. Take out Andy. Mm -hmm. You know, it only makes sense to take a horse to the horse mm -hmm. statue. Hi. Okay. Let's turn around. And let's go. We actually passed where we needed to go for this quite a while ago. When we headed to the... Um... Tabantha Tower and... Oh, what's the one next to it? I can't remember what the one next to it is called. Oh my goodness, it's like... I should know it, but I, I've forgotten. Oh well. I think it's the Ridgeland Tower. That really was ages ago now. Let's head back up this way. We should arrive at another memory location. There's also this little path that goes off to the edge here, and I don't know what that's for. But I might just leave it for now. There's a lot of areas in this game I'd want I want to explore, but I don't know how I'm gonna do that to get everything. I don't know where everything in this game is, and it's concerning because it's such a huge game. We can see the horse statue from here. So, let's head on up. And let's stop for a little bit. I'm guessing there's also a cork around here somewhere. But first, let's recall. Be sure to take the time to soothe your mount. That's the only way it will know how you truly feel. Your advice was quite helpful, thank you. This little one and I are getting along quite well now. At first, I wasn't sure if I should outfit him with all of the royal gear. I thought maybe he should have to earn it first. 
But it works. He wears it like a true natural. I'm trying to be a bit more empathetic. Benefit of the doubt, you know? See that mountain? That's Mount Lanero. It takes its name from the goddess of wisdom. Lanero's decree is very specific. It says no one is allowed under the age of 17, for only the wise are permitted a place upon the mountain. I've prayed at the spring of courage and at the spring of power, yet neither awoke anything inside me. But maybe up there, perhaps the spring of wisdom, the final of the three, will be the one. To be honest, I have no real reason to think that will be the case. But there's always the chance that the next moment will change everything. Tomorrow is my 17th birthday. So then I shall go and make my way up the mountain. Zelda's old. Ah, uh, sorry. Enough of that. Uh, let's just climb up the statue because I'm guessing there's some something up here. Maybe. No. Am I wrong? I'm wrong. It's interesting to come up here. Also, this horse would be great if it wasn't all ruined. Like it's not ruined, but it's like it's weathered. It's very weathered. Anyway, doesn't look like there are any um, crocs here that I can see so far. Although I wouldn't really be able to tell if I was looking at one. Oh, it's probably there's there's the trees around. Maybe there's one in a tree. I don't know. I feel like I'm trying to imagine crocs into places that they don't exist. Oh, 50 rupee, 50 rupee. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I'm gonna jump for it though. It's still there, so I can grab it. Now that I spent all my rupees, I need somewhere to get them back. It does feel like there should be a Korok around here though. Like, it's a little structure in the middle of nowhere. There are trees all around it. And I can't find anything so far. But yeah. We need to go to Mount Lanero as well, according to Zelda. Well, I guess, if, just to check it out. We don't need to go there. That's where they needed to go, 100 years ago. But it'd still be interesting to follow their story. So, let's go over to the shrine next to Kakariko. Let's head up this way. We have gone up... Oh, do I have regular arrow? I do. I probably don't want to use this bow because it's a good one. Got some ru rupees out of that. Rupees from the rabbit. <laughs> there it is again. I don't know if I... Oh, there's another one! Oh, I scared it. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Probably don't want to waste too many of my arrows there. Although, more rupees would be good. But anyway, if we go back this way, we can actually keep going this way. Oh, there's a boar there. Nope. That was definitely going to miss. Oh, but there's a rush room up there that I want to get. Oh, my, my aim was, like, good if it was going to miss, but it it didn't miss, and then I missed. Anyway, there's also a Korok here that I want to get, so let's have a look at that. 
And it looks like the missing piece is actually inside the one over here. So let's put that in there. And get a Korok. Is that there? I hope so. Oh my goodness, so many Korok seeds. But I need more. So many more. Neighbor Road, West Gate. Interesting. What's that moss there looks interesting as well? Greetings, traveler. About a year ago, I was walking along the road here at night when I suddenly saw a blinding light in the sky. When my eyes finally adjusted, I found myself looking at a shimmering object flo floating overhead. I couldn't look away. The next thing I knew, I was bathed in light. When I came to, I woke up in bed covered in sweat. What do you think about that? Sounds like a dream. At first I thought it was just a bad dream, but then... But the bed I woke up in wasn't my bed. It was a bed full of liquid in an empty room, and when I looked in the, in the corner, there was a weird glowing device. And when I touched the device, I was overwhelmed when a feeling of familiarity. When I came to, I was here. What do you think about that? Uh, the, the... So my mum, Hylian Champion. Master Koga. Yeah, that sounded very familiar. Oh, I might just switch that for now. And that's... Get out of here. Daruk's protection just protecting me. So I can't take damage while that's around. And apparently he dropped a weapon that we haven't seen before, which is surprising. Demon Carver. This lethal weapon was is forged by the Yiga. Yiga. Its unique shape uh, facilitates the sound dispatching of... Any target and strikes fear into the hearts of all who see it. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> it didn't really strike fear into my heart, so I'm just gonna walk away. Also, I think there's more that way that I want wanna get now. So I'm gonna go this way. Oh, and there's a cork up there. So many things around the place. Oh, where did it pop up? And where, why is it raining? Oh, it's just along this path. Oh, Yiga Clan. There's the last one. I found him. Anyway, now. Oh, he gave me some arrows. Unless they. No? No arrows. Okay, then. That's fine. I just wanted arrows. Very good at missing. Uh, now, there's a fire over there. Where is this? I'm lost. Help. Send help. Oh, and there's... A shooting star? Okay then, oh, I don't think I'm going to go get that at the moment. Oh my goodness, enemies. Just die. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't want to probably use that because it stuns them and then... Yeah, it's just not useful at all. Oh my goodness, why are you all the way over here? Oh, so is that a talus? Is that a, is that a talus? I think that's a talus. Where did I, where did I, did I walk past this? I might have walked past this. Or it's, maybe it's not a talus. 
Maybe it's not. It looked like a task from back there, though. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be okay with that. Anyway, there's that camper at that fire that I'm going to go say hello to, I guess. Okay, that's not going to go any further. Grab it. Grab. Nope. Okay, then. Wanderer. So, you heard me humming, eh? I'm Eric. I'm traveling the world on a journey of self-discovery. I'm heading for Zora's Domain now, but I'm lost. I was just about to give up. But then, like, I heard a voice coming from the North Tower. Cr uh, crossing the R Rutala River would be next to impossible, though. Zora's Domain is home of the Zora. It's the town in Laneru. But crossing the Rutala River is impossible. Aww. It's a hard place to get to. So I just gave up altogether. Aww. North Tower. If you continue north from here, on the other side of the Rutala River, you can see a huge tower on the opposite bank. I thought I heard a voice coming from the top of that tower. I wonder if someone's up there. Aww. Rutala River. Rutala River is the widest river in Laneru. You'd be risking your life to tread if you tried to swim across it. Mm. If you want to go north of, of it, you'll have to walk wait, walk patiently to Linebeck Island in the east, so you can uh, so you can circumvent it. Mm. Okay, goodbye. See ya. Oh, and there's a uh, there's a thing over there, and also uh, what's his name? Cass is over there. Take that. Now this looks like a spot for a Korok. There are probably some nearby that I just don't see. Oh, pardon me, I didn't think anyone was around. I knew we'd meet again, though I never imagined it would be here. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Let's hear it. Oh. Excellent. Without further ado. A beast that wears a crown of bone passing through the lush green. Mount the beast upon its throne, for only then the shrine is seen. I suppose the lush green could refer to this place. But what sort of beasts wears a crown of bone? Mm. But there's definitely a secret hiding here. But it's beyond me. May the light illuminate your path. The crowned beast. Well... If we look over this way, I believe... If I'm... Not interrupted. If I'm not interrupted... That'd be great, but that seems quite impossible with the monsters in the field sometimes. Anyway, if we keep going over this way, we should find... Oh, there's a Korok there. Oh, but there's what I need. Oh, he's running away. Oh, this is bad. Let me try this. Which probably won't work, but I want to try and land on this. Oh, come back. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is not going to work at all. If I can get close enough to mount. Soothe, soothe, soothe. Okay. Let's take this buck. Over to the... the thing. Because he's got... Antlers, so he's a crown of bone. So... If we just take you over to... The pedestal thing. A little bit further forward.
And there we go. Another shrine. You can go now, my friend. Don't have any arrows. It's fine. I wasn't gonna shoot him or anything. Anyway, let's see what this shrine is. Probably not. Oh, it might be a proper shrine. Looks like it is. Ancient... Uh, trifec trifecta. Okay, well... There's this path up here. There's a metal block. Oh. Interesting. So this... laser hitting the switch... moves that. So if I put it... there-ish... But then... I guess I could just... No, hang on. I'm thinking about this. Possibly too much. That works. I'm probably gonna just grab this chest. Thunderblade. Oh, but my inventory's full. Where's that arm? Let me get rid of that. I didn't mean to pick that up. I picked it up by accident, so I'm gonna just get rid of that. Um... I need to go around two more times, but how does it want me to actually do this? I wonder. Can I... I mean, that works, but I don't think it's what you're supposed to do. Also, I needed that block still, didn't I? Or possibly the chest. Because they're both magnetic. Well, looks like I'm going round again. Yeah, that's a lot easier to just do that. I mean, you still have to unfreeze it. But it's still a lot better than just using magnesis or anything else. Oh, I fell off. Why? Why? Oh, well. Just do that a whole bunch. Okay, now... Freeze. Unfreeze, and don't throw me off. I'll take the chest over there. I can probably just put it on the switch. Oh no, I can't reach that far enough. Remove the block. Put that there for now. Just a little bit more over here though. Let's go round. I'm surprised I can reach that far with stasis. But it's useful. Yeah, that seems very simple. Got all the chests already. All one of them. That block isn't even... The metal block isn't even important for anything. Unless you wanted to use that instead of the treasure chest. Now let me check that tree real fast. It does seem like a good spot for a Korok, and I wanna... wanna get Korok. Give me Korok, please. Oh, don't fall off the tree. Oh, can't see anything. There is a Korok here, good. Just like that. Take that. And now, I think... Heading over... Oh, there's also that other Korok in the thing over here that I need to get. So let me get that before I forget about it.
Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Imagine if there was a side quest for every Kark in the game. That would be a little bit painful. Anyway, let's grab that. Very nice. And now we can probably head back to the path that we were on before. But that's probably it for this episode. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.